Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am in South Haven and the jets are loud. I'm at Scholar's Therapy office and just waiting for her. She just went in. I'm going to chat with you guys for a little bit and show you some stuff. But I had to look at my videos because I thought I haven't done a car vlog in a long time. It's been eight days. I've done videos since. Uh, but one was um, in my bathroom showing clothing to you and then two in my in my office and then I did the one at the, um, the Landers Center for the Rhythm Section podcast on-site podcast for the Mississippi Music Awards. I did that and then I altered a shirt. So it has been eight days since I have uh, sat in my car and talked to you guys. No wonder I miss it. I'm gonna need the AC on a little bit. I didn't think I'd need to, but I need to. This is a Wednesday. On Monday at around 6.30 p.m. I wanted to get out of the apartment and I called Skylar and asked her if she would go to the thrift store with me just for a ride. I told her I go in, I put some shirts in my cart, try them on, and whatever fits, I, I take it, we leave. I'm, you know, I promised her I'm not going to be shopping for a long time. So she came with me, and I liked that because it gave us a little ride. And uh, I got four, one, two, three, four, four shirts. And then, and I, I didn't show them to you because it was evening and I wasn't doing that kind of a video. I think that's one of the days that I did a lot of sewing on the alterations of that shirt. That was quite the little project. Um, and I didn't like spend a whole lot of time actually working on the shirt. I spent a whole lot of time trying to think of what I wanted to do and stuff like that. Uh, then uh, today, today I knew I was taking her to therapy, but I didn't care. I said, I'm going to go to South Haven. You know, I went earlier just to take the ride and went all the way back home and now we're back in South Haven you know I uh, I don't spend a whole lot of money on things like booze or food <laughs> or cigarettes like I used to once upon a time so I spend my money on gas I you know I it, it it's like freedom to me so I'm, I'm willing to do all the little trips I feel like doing just to get out. I uh, got two more shirts today and I couldn't record there because I knew that I didn't have too much time and I had to get home and I had to bring her here so I thought I'll just bring the, the shirts with me and show them and then I thought why not bring the other four that I just bought and show those to you guys too. And I'm going to talk about the one that I altered. Let's start with that. I brought that one too just because it was there in the closet and I have decided I'm going to alter it some more don't think I'm going to talk about that on camera. I'm just going to tell you here. So this is the one that I just did. And yes, greatly improved. I was very happy with it. Um, the one thing is the, the shoulders. Let's see, where's the shoulder? They're dropped a little bit, but it's not only that. I don't know. They're big. The arm hole, everything is big. Instead of um, doing anything at the bottom of the arm, the sleeve, and the armhole. I could do something there, but my plan is, let me just turn it inside out so I can show you what I'm talking about. This whole part here, this is the top, like at the shoulder. I'm just going to go and stitch maybe a half inch below that line, and I'll do that all the way around, and then when I get to the bottom, like under the arm, I might just do like a little bit less um, and then try that on and then you know I can adjust it again if I need to just gonna you know keep taking in that the um, armhole a little bit at a time and I think it's going to make it sit better on my shoulder and uh, it'll make the armhole a little bit smaller and I'll be very happy with that the other thing I'm going to do is I am indeed going to do something with the um, with the smocking here at the front. And it might be a matter of just sewing down some of those pleats. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link to this video in the description and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, and I might sew down some of the, the pleats or the 
the uh, you know the smocking I'm gonna fold it down press it and then sew it like it's a pleat and I would do that almost to the bottom and but not all the way down because if I do it just uh, you know not all the way down it'll probably give a little kick at the bottom I would like that that little kick and I may include some darts and if there's anything else that I feel could benefit from a dart <laughs> I'll do that too so love this shirt I want it I want it so that I can start wearing it now and oh the other thing the sleeves man I would like them just under the elbow but a longer sleeve is nice sometimes so I might just fold and maybe just tack them for the summer I kind of liked the look of them folded oh and when I do my try on for all these other shirts I will try this one on again so you guys can see the final um, alterations I might just do that until I'm sure that uh, that I want long sleeves or not because it does it does look nice too it, you know to have a longer sleeve once in a while um, but we'll worry about that later okay now this is a shirt that I got uh, that I saw when it was a day that I could get half price on everything but not on yellow tags. This week it's not on pink tags. But that week it was not on yellow tags. The shirt is skin tight. But I know when I lose it will be in a good proportion. You know the shirt will be good for my body as I lose because I have shirts similar. And uh, But I didn't take it. I said no I don't want to just you know take too many things and it's a yellow tag so I left it at this I said if the tag color changes next week when I come back I'll look for it if I can get it I'll buy it and I found it and so I bought it so I only paid under two dollars 393 so whatever half of 393 is and it's just one of those other shirts that I like that's like snug and I love the print and it is snug and when I tell you guys that it's snug I mean it's uncomfortable for me to wear I understand that some of these the ones that are form-fitting actually look better on me than anything that's loose and flowy it makes me look a little bit smaller I understand that but I have to be comfortable I don't want skin tight clothing I want to be able to move and uh, so don't worry they'll all get worn Oh yeah, I got the birds singing here in my air conditioner. I got the jets ahead. Stop making noise. We're just living with the noise, all of it. So I really like this. And again, I'll be trying all these on in front of you guys in a future video. This, I love and it fits. It fits good. It's comfortable, but it's winter. It's very um, thick, almost fuzzy but it's not and it doesn't have a too long of a sleeve I could wear it on a cool summer night or even now it's not I don't know I'm hot I have the air conditioner on see I wouldn't want to be in this but this is the print and look it, I don't know if you can tell but it's brown there's brown in there I love brown I never get brown and it's just one of these shirts that I love so much it's just the you know the sleeve like that and I, I'm sure I'll be able to wear it at some point before fall and uh, it's long enough and oh, I just love it I was so happy that too was only I think all the shirts that I got uh, all four shirts that I got on Monday with Skylar they were all under two dollars each I remember the total for four shirts came up to oh some had to be less some were like under a dollar fifty uh, the total came up to six dollars and eight cents for four shirts today my total was under four dollars for two shirts this one see this is 191 so this is under a buck for this and that's why I took it it's nothing special but for under a buck it gives me just again another house shirt um, something I can wear when I go out oh and this one has the bottom is um like pointy it's got a pointy hem I don't know if I like the point I might be cutting that off I don't know we'll wait till we see me try things on in the uh, in the bathroom okay this next thing you know that I had to love something for me to buy something that that I consider a sweater okay this is a very lightweight sweater 
I could wear this out when it's 10 degrees and not even put a jacket or my sweatshirt. I don't have a jacket here. I left my winter clothing in Maine. I have just a sweatshirt and I was fine all winter with just a house shirt, my regular shirts with sleeves this long, you know, and, and a sweatshirt because my thing is you get out of a warm apartment, you're outside in the cold for a few minutes, you get into a car, the car gets warm, you get out of the car cold outside, you get into the store, the store is warm. So I'm, I'm mostly in warmth. Very little time in the actual cold. <laughs> I don't wear a fucking coat because I'd have to take a coat off. I cannot drive. I don't like to drive with a coat. I'm okay with a sweatshirt. But anyway, what a long story. This is like a sweater. And when I looked at it, I liked the gray. It's flowers. Big fucking flowers. Are they roses? I think so. I don't know. You know I'm not thrilled with flowers. But when I felt it, I said, oh, this is so soft. And I thought, in the mornings when I get out of my uh, bed, uh, when I get out of, when I get up, I can't fucking talk. When I get up, sometimes in the morning, even like this morning was kind of cool. And I would just like to put something comfy on. And then when I looked and it said 80% rayon. I was like, I'm sold. I need this in my life. 80% rayon, 16% poly, 4% spandex. I can read right now without my glasses. And uh, that happened at the apartment too. I was with my regular readers, uh, the strength that I used to always wear, 200, I've been wearing those again. And I had to take them off to read my computer screen. It's just bizarre to me. Okay, $1.91, so I paid half of that. And it's a bat fucking sleeve, which I don't love, but it's so comfortable and it fits and it's only a medium, but it's because it's a, a, a wide style shirt. And it was just, oh my God. It is like snug on me, but this is so fucking stretchy. So I can't wait to be able to wear this, even though it's roses. <laughs> Me that I don't want granny florals. Okay, so those are the four that I got on Monday. Today, I, I'm having a very hard time getting anything that I can wear right now. I, I mean, I want clothes for right now that fits and that is going to be good for summer. I'm just not finding it, but I'm going to have everything I need for fall and winter because I'll be fitting in all this shit that's too small for me now and um, it'll be the right, the right temperature uh, for the clothing. This, I don't usually go for blue. Absolutely love the way this fits. The bust is too tight. The rest is not. The rest looks really good on me. Uh, at least, I think so. Uh, but the bust is too tight. The sleeves are way too tight. They're also way long. Look at that long ass sleeve. So I definitely could open up the sleeve and add a strip of fabric. Uh, by using some of the sleeve that I could cut off here. That might work, but I don't want to do any of that until um, it actually fits me. So I have to lose a little for the bust. You will see it when I put it on. The, you know, the buttons are like, like stretched out a little bit. Now, if I had a lot of fabric, I could cut and just open it up all along the sleeve. And on the side too, and just put, you know, doesn't take much, like an inch strip on each side. That would be enough for the bust. But um, I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna wait. And, uh, but I loved it very much. This, I couldn't believe. I'm always looking for black. And uh, I prefer rayon to polyester any day. And I have a black rayon shirt that you see me wear often, you know, to the point where I wear it so much that the neck is even like stretched out of it now. Uh, and that's rayon, uh, but it's, you know, it's not like long and it, it, it's just, I don't know, the, sh the sleeves are like way short. And I wanted something with longer sleeves and a little bit longer to cover a little bit of butt. And um, this is it. So let's see. Um, it's an 1820. It is big. That's that's pretty cool that an 1820 is big on me. It is quite big. I could wear it around the house, big like this and comfy. I just, you know, sometimes I just like big baggy clothes when I'm in the house doing my work and stuff like that. The sleeves are good. They fit. They're a nice length. Um, but I definitely think that I will be taking this in because rayon, I can get away with this even in the summer. Um, so I'm gonna be happy. I'll be happy about that. 
So that's it. You will see me try all these things on at some point. Uh, I don't want to do those too often. Um, it would be cool to do at least one a month. I'm sure I could do that as long as I, you know, keep shopping and keep finding shirts. Or maybe two a month. We could try that. Okay, let me take a break here for a minute and just rethink and maybe I'll figure out something else to talk about. Took a little break. Tried to think of something to say. <laughs> I have something to say. I wanted to uh, mention to you guys that if you have not friended me on Facebook, go ahead and friend me on Facebook on my regular profile. Uh, they, you know, there was a time that I wanted just actual friends on there, but it got out of hand, you know, over the years of doing YouTube and stuff, and I was just, you know, friending people, then I would stop, you know, accepting friend requests from strangers. But I'm back to just saying I'm going to let anybody, because, um, you know, it, it's good when I want to say something that I have a place where there's uh, up to 5,000 people there to hear what I want to say, because you're limited to 5,000 on your profile. I do have a group, and I also have a Facebook page. I'm going to link to all of that stuff in the description box. Um, but uh, I've started to use my profile more than uh, my group or page. I still use my group quite a bit. Um, I use the page too. But I guess I'm going to be more active like with things like what I have started doing is little video clips that go directly to Facebook. And I let you guys know in a clip that's on there right now what my plans were for this weekend. Like Derek and I and Jeff are going to a certain place to hear a certain band with the friends and letting you know that we'll all be there in case anybody is in the area and wants to come out and meet us. And then where I'm going to be Saturday night and then Monday, May 8 is, um, and this is 2023 if you're watching in the future, um, there's like a meet and greet for Derek and Jeff and the Rhythm Podcast, uh, the Rhythm Section Podcast, and I'll be there, and you can meet us there. We're going to be watching Derek's podcast, Derek and Jeff's uh, podcast uh, interview, uh, and they're at the bar, and anybody can drink and eat, do whatever they want, and so I think that's super cool, and uh, anybody who would be in the area and wants to come by, you know, it's a, it's a watch party and a meet and greet. And I don't know if there'll be others. We're trying this first one. And I'm excited for it. And I just thought, you guys, if you go friend me on Facebook, especially if you're in the Memphis area, because I will be letting you know stuff that's going on. Um, you know, where we're going to be or even things that are going on that we're not going to be at that I just think that you might like to know. So friend me on Facebook. I'll have it uh, be the top link in the description of this video. Okay? Okay, it's Darlene Michaud, in case, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Everything across the board is my name. Oh, and get this. Remember when I started uh, turning comments back on, on on this channel? And I said, not social. I'll never do it on social. It's on social. All my social is open now for comments. I'm hot. See, it made me hot just worrying about that <laughs> and letting it be known. Um, yeah, the stress in my life is at such a lower level that I can handle just having all that stuff on. And it felt so good to have it on for my videos that I just decided I'm just going to go ahead and do it on social. I've had to delete, you know, some things even on social. People are just, you know, just dumb. You know, so, uh, and, and of course I delete on my, uh, under my, my videos, but, you know, certainly not like I used to have to. I mean, there were people that were just vulgar and, you know, and not just toward me, but toward my family members and that I won't tolerate at all. Um, but I've been, you know, I've been lucky uh, this time around. I just think that all my trolls from the early days left when they couldn't comment anymore and they just haven't realized that they could come back and, and start trolling again. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what else there is to talk about. Um, I could maybe look through a few comments. Um, I do want to uh, answer, what was it? What was it? It was right there. Uh, it was a carnivore. Oh, about, yeah, I got a lot of questions again. Recipes, how I cook my meat, all this stuff. There's nothing fancy, and I know people want fancy because we're used to fancy, but you really don't have to, um, like, 
like I say, you don't have to have a party in your mouth. You just don't. You can just eat. You can just eat, uh, chew, swallow, be done, and not say, geez, that wasn't as good as it could have been. <laughs> the last thing I want to spend time on is cooking. Uh, one of the main things that I eat are frozen hamburger patties. I buy the box. They're the fattier ones, which is what I want. And I just leave them in the freezer and I take four out frozen. I put them in a pan with butter on a low temp because I don't want them to just stick right to the pan, even though it's a no stick pan. And, you know, I do it early enough that I just have it kind of low and I'll just flip it a few times. And when it's like really thawed, then I'll turn it up, cook them and I'm done. And sometimes I'll do that a couple of times in a row just in the same pan so I only have to wash the pan once and then I like to lately I like to just break them up with the spatula put that all in the bowl top it off with lots of butter while it's still hot warm put the cover on let it sit on the counter let all that butter melt toss it around a little bit goes in the fridge whenever I feel like eating I just open that bowl and I eat that shit cold Again, no party in my mouth needed. Um, I don't hate cold beef at all. If you want to heat it up, you can. You can heat it up. And uh, and the butter that gets hard with the juice of the ground beef patties, that's so fucking good. And I'll just take like a fork and just break big chunks of that off and eat that with the meat. So that's how I do hamburger patties. In a frying pan, nothing. I, I do add a little bit of salt. There's times that I don't want salt. If my body feels like having salt, I'll add salt. Lately, I don't even have pepper because I ran out of pepper. Sometimes I'll put pepper. But I don't put all kinds of shit on it. I just don't. I'm good with just the beef, the flavor of the beef. For um, the other beef that I like is either um, steaks. Usually at Walmart, I get London broil, which is very tender. Or they have a cut there called a chuck tender roast. And... Um, the only prepping I do for that is, uh, like when I buy it, I'll maybe cut in, in two and freeze separately. So then I can just take out a piece that I know is going to be good for a couple of days, uh, cooked because I'll have enough because I also have all the hamburger patties that I, that I prepare. And that I just slice thin before I put it in the pan, put it in the pan with butter, a little bit of salt, toss that around. And I like it rare. I do that for a little bit, then I just turn the burner off and I just leave the pan there and, and just let it cook a little bit more. And that will go also in a bowl, usually mixed with the hamburger patties because then I just have a mixture when I feel like eating my beef. And again, butter on that always. That's what I mainly live off. And then I do uh, have times where I crave something else. Oddly enough, I don't think I've had pork, I don't think once in January, uh, a little over three months. But I have had chicken. All of a sudden, I will be like, oh my God, I have to have chicken or I will die. And I don't feel like cooking chicken. So I run to Walmart and I get a rotisserie chicken. And I usually eat at least half of it that sitting because I was craving it. And I'll eat all of that. And then the rest, sometimes I'll use some for soup for Derek or make them some you know, sandwiches or whatever. I haven't been making them sandwiches lately. I don't even feel like buying bread. Um, I'll make him soup. Soup is easy. <laughs> I've made myself soup just with a little bit of a, a bouillon or broth and just all meat, just meat in my soup. It's so fucking good. So when I want chicken, it's usually a rotisserie chicken and I eat all of it that I want. And then um, I've been craving beef liver. I love liver. I grew up eating a lot of liver and uh, I'll have a time where I, I crave it. kind of have to crave liver to want liver and I buy the calves liver and I get a pound of it and I cook all of it uh, I'll cut it up after again it goes in with the other meats in um, unless I want just liver separate but I usually mix all my meats together in whatever containers I have with a cover that will hold all that shit and uh, a little bit of salt on the liver and I cook that in butter and it's so good when I am craving liver it's usually I feel run down for whatever reason. And if I eat the liver, 
boy, I am completely boosted. I don't know if I'm like temporarily low on iron or something. I don't know. I don't care. I just do what my body says. If my body wants liver, I will literally go to the store and get it right at that moment. Oh, I need, I need liver and I'll go get it and I'll cook it and eat it. And uh, so th that's one thing that I've just recently started doing. I think I've only done it twice recently that I needed liver. Um, is there anything else? I do keep uh, cans of tuna and um, solid white tuna in water and um, I, I wouldn't mind the oil. I just, I don't know, it just bought, I buy it in water. I don't know if the oil would be fish oil. I don't want vegetable oil in my tuna. So anyway, I buy it in water. And I've come to love uh, mixing a can of solid white tuna with a can of chunk chicken. It doesn't have to be the white chicken, the just chunk chicken. Mix those two things together and sometimes I'll put a little bit of mayo. I do this very seldom so and I'm not against having mayo if I absolutely feel like I need to be eating like a tuna sandwich but with no bread at all just like that. But I discovered that um, I also, but I don't have any, uh, cream cheese because I'm trying to stay away from that shit because I, oh, I can overdo that, that kind of stuff. Um, um, but I find with all the butter that I'm eating, I'm not craving all those other things anymore. I don't crave cheese. I haven't purchased cheese in I don't know how long. I haven't had cheese. So um, it's, just, uh, it's just really cool when you increase your animal fat. My choice is butter, but you can have any animal fat you want. Uh, it, it just kills your appetite for everything, pretty much. Um, except for those times that I all of a sudden have to eat half a chicken <laughs> or a pound of liver. Um, but for the most part, it, it's, uh, and I don't care. I don't care if I feel like I need to binge on that. It's not a mind game. You know, it doesn't fuck with my mind to say, oh my God, I'm going to eat all this and then I'm going to, I'm going to regret it. No, I don't fucking regret it. I just went through a spell of like three or four days that I just meat. It was just meat chowing, chowing down, shoving it down my throat all day, all night, cooking at night because I still didn't feel satisfied eating more meat. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm sure I gained. I'm sure I gained with all this meat and I, I don't gain. I don't gain weight. It's like, it's it's just funny to me. I don't understand it. So I am still losing. Um, I'm going to do a, an update every 10 pounds. And I don't care if it takes me two months to, to lose 10 pounds. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, I lost six pounds in just a matter of a couple of days. And then it'll take me a month just to lose four more. I don't care. I don't care. It's like whatever, whatever happens, happens. Okay. I don't want you to care either. So yeah, I don't do anything fancy. I don't. I don't do anything fancy. You can if you want to. And for people who really struggle uh, with just eating a lot of meat or beef, you can have the variety of meats you want. Um, and if you don't want to do all the butter, then that just makes you carnivore. If you do all the animal, the added animal fat, then that makes you high fat carnivore. You're eating a lot of fat with your protein. It should be more fat than protein. So there really are not that many rules at all and so many of you have tried it and have already gotten results especially those of you who say that it only took days for your joint pain to go away and I'm telling you th that's for real it doesn't take long I remember when I started I had a knee uh, my right knee was so blown up it hurt and I remember telling you guys in a car vlog I was going to Walmart that I felt I needed to walk sideways like a crab because it was less painful for me to move my leg sideways than to try to go through the motion of walking and having to use my knee um, that's how bad that knee was and I I know I've told this story before I think I was four days in of meat only and I was doing all meats and even processed meats um, at the very beginning because I just wanted all kinds of flavor. You know, me too. I was like, how, how am I going to be able to do this? But I loved meat, so I was, I was lucky about that. But boy, I would have plates with just a nice variety of like beef, um, a turkey drumstick. I might have some shrimp on there. And then I might have some kielbasa, what we call kielbasa, and some sausage, summer sausage here, I don't know, uh, sliced and, and cooked. And, you know, I just, I didn't care. I just ate whatever I wanted. 
anyway, I uh, remember one night on my couch. You guys remember I slept on a couch? I, I need a couch. <laughs> I'm a couch sleeper. I don't have a couch yet. Been here a year and a half. I could feel my knee burning. It was on fire and I thought something bad was happening to my knee. It, it literally felt like um, like from the inside, you know, like somebody had put Bengay on the inside of my leg, not like on the skin. It was burning from the inside out. It was like a radiating burn. And I remember just saying, all right, maybe I'm fucking up everything with this way I'm eating because I was afraid. I was waiting to have a heart attack any minute when I first started. I, you know, remembered moving it and I just left my leg there. I was like, I'm just going to, you know, see what what's happening and I, I remember rubbing it a little bit and stuff and then after a while the burning stopped and the pain was completely gone from my knee it was wiped out I was like how is this possible that was the first miraculous thing that happened to me when I started carnivore back in 2016 November of 2016 and the pain was gone from a need that made me tell the world I wanted to walk like a crab so I could only you know have to move that leg sideways because I could not um, stand anymore the the pain of using my knee bending my knee standing on that leg and um, I had a fire inside my knee <laughs> it cured that pain so what that was um, you know inflammation just suddenly disappeared you know just it, it was like you don't need inflammation here anymore we've got you covered because you're a meat eater <laughs> decided to light a fire and uh, took care of that pain so that was that was really cool but there's a lot of cool things and like right now the one thing that I'm noticing the most is my vision it goes back and forth back and forth there's times that I I can see see right now I can see so clear here the stuff that I normally can't at this distance uh, it's just cool and I noticed it when I was at my computer today just ran in with my glasses I went and swapped the glasses I said oh these are the glasses that are way strong for when I'm on my iPad went in the other room because they're both the same both black right now so I was like oh those are the wrong ones and I went and put the other ones I was like no these are the wrong ones so I put these back on and went to the computer I was like I can't even see with these and I was like oh yeah take them off and I was good I don't know it's just weird all right, I think I talked way long enough. I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. I better fucking be recording. I am. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my little mini haul. I'm anxious to show you everything in my noisy bathroom that I have one switch that does both fan and light. Somebody told me to ask maintenance to fix that. They're like, she, they can just replace that. I was like, <laughs> you know who you're talking to? You want me to ask maintenance to do something? just for my convenience I'm, I, I don't do that I don't I don't ask but I don't ask for stuff <laughs> I'm glad they're there if something breaks and I did have a burner that broke and it took me probably three months before I even brought that up to them I didn't really need it and I still had a burner the big burner that I could cook on and uh, not I, I'm, I'm not one to ask for things uh, like I said I don't go to the deli counter and ring the bell if there's a bell I have to ring to get help I'll just fucking leave the store I'm not I'm not I'm not bringing attention to myself by ringing a, a bell and I'm so nervous about it that sometimes it's like half a half a I didn't push enough and then I feel like I have to go like that <laughs> don't make me ring a bell <laughs> If they can't be there to help me, then and then I, I, I feel like that's a good sign that I just need to leave. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Go uh, like me. No. What is it called? Request my friendship. Go request my friendship on Facebook, on my actual profile, because I will be doing some videos there uh, every now and then. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'm going to regret that, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.